Okay, Assalamualaikum and welcome back to another episode for lesson with Sir Shazwan. <laughs> so for this week, we'll be looking at reading skills, main ideas and supporting details. Uh, you need to develop your reading skill because uh, when English involves a lot of reading and listening. So it's very good for you to be able to identify the main ideas and supporting details, details so that you will be able to understand what a text is about. So let's go. For the first one, that main idea and supporting details. So you need to remember that it is made of three important parts, usually in a paragraph. So the first one, we have topic, sentence. Then we have supporting details, and then we have concluding sentence. So those three are available in every single paragraph. But there are some, some other things that I need to inform you. So... Let's just focus on this first, okay? Right, next. First one, we'll be looking at topic sentence and main ideas. Okay, what are those two things? Okay, right, so topic sentence, or we can call it as the main idea of the paragraph. It is the it, topic sentence states the main idea of the paragraph. So when you are talking, uh, it, will sh it will tell the reader about what is the idea in that particular paragraph, okay? So, usually topic sentence appears at the beginning of the paragraph as the first sentence. So, you have the introduction, you say skip the introduction, you move into the first body paragraph. Okay, so the first sentence in that body paragraph is the topic sentence. It will tell you what the writer is talking about in the uh, in the Paragraph. So it it is the main idea. So it says like Mukadima. So they, you know what to expect when you read through the paragraph. Okay. But sometimes, sometimes the main idea is not stated directly in the paragraph. So you need to be able to identify it. Okay. So how you have to read the entire paragraph and ask yourself what the paragraph is all about. Because sometimes uh, the 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 way the people write the essay is that sometimes they are being direct, so they they give you okay this paragraph is about what what, but sometimes they don't talk, uh, tell you about that. So you have to deduce it by yourself. You have to guess the me the idea of that paragraph. So you need to make sure uh, you need to identify which one is which. Okay. Then we move into supporting details. This is not that fast. This is very easy. So if you have problems, repeat and repeat and repeat. Okay, what are supporting details? Okay, so supporting details are usually the stress of the sentences in the paragraph. So you have like in the, in the paragraph, you have the topic sentence. That is the first one. Then the rest of the sentence that comes after that are the supporting details. But what are the function of the supporting details? You use supporting details to develop, you to elaborate the paragraph. You explain, you discuss, or you illustrate the main idea. So the main is crystal clear. So the main idea is crystal clear. Because you want to let people understand why, what are you trying to tell them in the par paragraph. So you can include information such as facts, statistics, details, and examples. For example, when we say uh, one of the main reasons students are lazy are because they don't have enough time. They don't in the, even they don't have enough time to sleep. For example, uh, uh, in 2010, there is a research done by some somewhat 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 told that students always sleep above 11 uh, p.m. and that's why this they don't have enough sleep. So you see. I give you some uh, statistics, some details, and example to elaborate my topic sentence in the paragraph. So you see that paragraph is talking about one of the reasons why students are lazy. Ha, betul tak? Okay. So how do you identify them? By looking out for transitional markers. What the heck are those things? We'll be going into it in bit. Okay. After concluding sentence. Haha. -ha. Troll you. Okay. What are concluding sentences? 
So the paragraph is complete when the main ideas are summarized in a sentence. So the, the, the last sentence in a body paragraph is the concluding sentence. It means that you are summarizing what you have said in the particular paragraph and then you are moving on into a new paragraph. It tells the reader when the paragraph, paragraph, a paragraph is coming to an end. So, uh, every should have a, a good essay should have a good concluding sentence. It's not compulsory, but it makes it better. Okay. Now, common transitional markers or linkers. What are those? So, words. These are words that are used in writing to show progression from one point to another. Because you, when you are writing. You want to show there is some sort of flow or organization in your essay. So you use transitional markers or linkers. They are also called as connectors. So there are some examples like this. Okay. So the first one to show time. You use soon, first, next, then, meanwhile. So you they are like moving on from this one. Okay, you're talking about it and you're moving... You should want to show time, then be something like that. Okay? To show similarity, maybe uh, point A and point B is similar. So, okay, similarly, likewise, uh, blah, 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 it's like that. Okay? So, show similarity. They are, say, uh, the two things are almost the same. To show contrast, maybe the difference. A and B may be different. So, you should use however, but, on the other hand, in contrast, to show example, uh, for maybe you want to continue, or maybe in, in the body paragraph you want to give example. So you use, for example, for instance, such as to illustrate something like that. Okay. Then you want to show conclusion. So you can use, in fact, finally, in other words, in short, you want to sum everything up. You want to finish your essay or your sentence. So, oh, next one. You want to show cause and effect. Maybe something happened because of something and then the effect is here. So you can use thus, if students keep on being lazy, then hence, they will keep on getting lazy, ha, for example. So the cause is lazy, then they have other effect. So you see. Or then you can use either to amplify or add. So you want to add on or maybe you to uh, <coughs> be you want to focus that your point is important and you want to some, add, add something on which besides furthermore moreover and also in addition next okay okay so there is a paragraph here okay some sort of task here so you need to identify topic center Supporting details, concluding sentence, and the transitional markers in the sentence. Okay, so this, uh, what, what would we call a uh, paragraph? So I want you to find out the topic sentence, the supporting details, what supporting details has been used, um, the concluding sentence, the transitional markers that are available, what kind of transitional markers are there. So, this will be uh, you, you 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 write down write write it down so then you will be uploading in the Google Classroom. So this is a very short video this time around. So thank you very much for listening to me. I will see you in another video. Thank you.